going down the conducting passageways to the larynx. So we've talked about the nasal cavity, the pharynx is this region like up to here. Um, and now we've got, we're gonna cut out this piece kind of right here. This is our larynx. So this is looking at a anterior or frontal view. So looking from this way. What do you think this structure is right here? That's the thyroid gland. So we are just superior to the thyroid gland. It would be somewhere down here on top of this. So this cartilage right here, um, sorry, this one right here, this is our thyroid cartilage. So the larynx is composed of several tissue types as many structures are. Cartilage, different, all different kinds of names of cartilage um, for these, here's the cricoid th um, cartilage. And actually this is the hyoid bone right here. So this is bone, hyoid, kind of a floating bone. This is the epiglottis. And those are the main structures we'll, we'll look at in the larynx from this view. We'll see one more structure, which is actually the glottis. So where our vocal cords are gonna be located when we look at a different view. From this view, um, what we can see, what I want to point out is the epiglottis. The epiglottis is this blue structure right here, also this one right here, that is going to move when you swallow it's connected to the tongue. So when you swallow, it folds down and covers, what do you think, the, the larynx and the trachea. So this actually moves during swallowing to cover the windpipe, the trachea, so that food does not go down the wind, windpipe. Pretty cool little structure. These labeled structures here are tracheal cartilages that we'll come back to. So cartilage is a big part of um, supporting this conducting the passageway larynx and trachea. One more structure here, I just want to point out this prominence right here. This is called the laryngeal prominence of the thyroid cartilage. Any other idea what that might be called? I don't have one actually. Um, a large prominence, um, males do, that's the Adam's apple. So this prominence right here develops um, to be much larger in males is actually ossification um, increases during puberty and creates this, this large Adam's apple in males. Here, so what we're gonna do now is cut, look at a section that's cut right through here, pretty much a, a cross section. And what's located here are the vocal cords. So here we're looking down from the top, um, here is actually the tongue. I think I spelled that right. <laughs> this is the epiglottis that I told you was attached to that tongue and can move as needed um, to cover up this windpipe. This here is, this is the hole, this is the trachea that can be covered by the glottis, epiglottis. And back here, this is where we want food to go. This is the esophagus. We'll look a little bit more closely at what happens during swallowing when we get to the digestive system. The other structure that's here are going to be um, our glottis, our true vocal cords, and our vestibular folds. So what, what are these structures? Um, the glottis is actually made up of both the vestibular and the true vocal cords. Um, the vestibular folds are also called false vocal cords. That's why these ones are called true vocal cords. Um, they're just kind of folded mucous membranes. This white here, these are the true vocal cords. So these are, um, membranous folds that attach to the cartilages of the, th of the larynx, so like thyroid cartilage, and actually like vibrate to allow sound, um, different sounds to occur when 
air comes out from this hole from your lungs, um, the vocal cords change in structure um, to produce different pitches. There's different structures typically in males and females. Um, so the folds are actually larger in males and that creates a deeper voice. Um, and this is a, just a thing that we can regulate, right? To make, make sound a thing that we learn. Um, tongue is obviously another part of sound production. Try talking without moving your tongue producing words, you can't really, but these vocal cords are especially important for making different pitches of um, sound. It's a lot like an instrument. So the larynx is where sound production occurs. 